Today's video is going to be 25 things that you probably don't already know about me. So I'm going to include bookkeeping stuff, business owning stuff, and just personal things. My name is Morgan from finepoints.biz and I love helping you guys get organized. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also it helps me out a lot if you can hit the like button on this video. All right, so here we go in no particular order. And if you stay to the end, I'm gonna kind of explain the inspiration and why I made this video. Number one, I am an oldest. So I have one sister, she's two years younger than me. Number two, I am an INFJ on the Myers-Briggs personality test. And I think I'm an Enneagram number three. Um, I took the Myers-Briggs years ago and I really love it and I really identified with the INFJ. I even like joined the INFJ Facebook group and all this stuff. Um, the Enneagram is newer to me, so I'm not as familiar with that and I haven't like totally like glommed onto that. But let me know in the comments what you are for those personality tests. Number three, I have not been accepting bookkeeping clients for over probably a year and a half now. So I actually feel when people ask me questions about like bookkeeper like setup or like onboarding, I actually feel kind of rusty with that because I have been filled to my max capacity and then added on with YouTube, you know, that just fills up enough of my time. So I haven't needed to, you know, do marketing or get any new clients recently. Number three, I did a collaboration with the QuickBooks YouTube channel. So I filmed nine videos for their channel. Um, and I just finished like a, a week or two ago and I was like super tired afterward. Um, so it took me a little bit to get back into making my videos. But those will be live in September, so definitely check those out. Number six, I'm scared of live streams or any kind of live video. And so that is why I just prefer to record my videos and then I can edit them as I need to. Um, maybe someday in the future I'll be better at that or live webinars, that kind of thing. But right now it does kind of stress me out. All right, number six, I am a goal setter. So I definitely set personal and business goals pretty much every year. Um, and I'm already on track to, I've either hit or am going to hit all my business goals for this year. I don't think I've made a YouTube video about that this year. I'll link below if I have any older videos about goal setting um, or let me know if you'd like to see what my goals were this year and how I'm doing on them. Number seven, in that same vein, one of my big goals for next year for 2022 is going to be education just of myself really, because I feel like the more I know, the more I'm realizing that I don't know, if that makes sense. Um, so I just really want to take some classes to better myself and to really like specialize in my niche, which is going to be bookkeeping for attorneys. Number eight, I am about six feet tall. I don't know if you can tell on the videos, but I'm very tall for a woman, especially. Number nine, with this height, I was a volleyball player. So all through growing up, I played volleyball year round club and school and my school was good we were actually state champions one year in Oregon so that was always fun a big part of growing up and kind of shaped who I am number 10 the most bookkeeping clients I've ever had is seven clients so I actually sometimes get a little insecure about that like just having YouTube channel and like teaching bookkeeping I'm not out here like running like a giant business with like tons of clients and employees and stuff it's mostly just me and then my contractor assistant and I keep it pretty small just because I really like to have that work-life balance and I only work part-time. Number 11, when you buy my class called Bookkeeper Business Coach, um, $25 of that gets donated to charity. So that's another one of my goals. I want to be as philanthropic as possible and kind of work that into my life. Um, so if you buy that class, it helps you start your bookkeeping business in 30 days. Um, some of that does is donated to charity. Number 12, I taught English in Japan for a year right after college. That was my first job after college and I loved it, got to travel a lot. Number 13, my job after that was a pretty big corporate job. I worked for Target. So I started out in Target.com in women's apparel and then I like was promoted to another position as a copy editor for the weekly print ad, which I don't even know if anyone reads like print ads anymore. And then um, we moved states away from the headquarters and I was a store manager for two years. Number 14, I consider one of my hobbies taking pictures, kind of organizing them, making photo books, making like personal videos of my kids. Number 15, I took a two year break from bookkeeping when my second kid was born. So I do talk about this a bit, how flexible bookkeeping is, and I really took, have taken advantage of that. Number 16, my Christian faith is very central to my life. Um, so we go to church every week. 
Um, I'm very involved in like certain activities and helping out with different things in the church. Number 17, I once took an accounting class like maybe five years ago, but I thought it was so boring that I couldn't finish it. That class in particular, I didn't feel like it related to my bookkeeping business because it was very, there was no technology. It was very like the nuts and bolts of accounting. We were doing literally writing things on paper ledgers. So it was really hard for me to figure out how exactly it actually was helping out me as a businesswoman. Number 18, I'm gonna put up on this screen some other ideas that I wanted to name my business, kind of like my brainstormed list that I was going through as I was picking the name Fine Points. So let me know in the comments below if you like any of those better or if you wanna take one of them for your business, let me know. Um, but I don't know if I've ever actually said it on this channel, but I chose the word fine points because it means like the details. So the, the fine points of your business. So I wanna help business owners organize the details of their business. And I actually did make it intentionally a little bit vague, um, like I didn't have bookkeeping in the title because I thought I might want to expand to copy editing or to other avenues, um, which in hindsight, I think it's actually better to be more specific. Number 19, I have done a zip line off the Great Wall of China. Number 22 of my bucket list items for traveling is doing an African safari as well as going to Greece. Number 21, here are some of the previous logos that I have used in my business. Um, and I actually kind of like designing logos and making logos. I realize sometimes you can get too wrapped up in that and it can take longer than it really needs to. So I try not to change it up too much. Number 22, I hate talking on the phone. Number 23, I think I get more headaches than the average person. And I've actually had to like make some changes in like how I hold my head and stuff based on that. Number 24, I have spreadsheets for my personal finances. Um, so personal saving goal, savings goals and how much we want to save for my husband's business and my business. And then the big savings goals that we are working towards. Number 25, I have a love-hate relationship with camping. <laughs> So we've been doing it a lot this summer and I like it when I'm there, but I hate setting up. So eventually I'd like to own like a little cabin or something so I don't have to like pinch it, pitch a tent all of the time. Let me know which of those 25 things you were most surprised by that you didn't know about me. Oh yeah, and then kind of the inspiration, the reason why I wanted to make this video is because on my channel, I want to strike this balance between like you getting to know me and my personality and you know, caring about what I'm doing and then also like the teaching side of bookkeeping. So maybe you came to my channel originally and you watched all of my videos on how to start a bookkeeping business, but then I want there to be content for you too that you're interested in at each stage of your business. So I'm kind of like trying to work through that. I've seen other YouTuber, YouTubers in a similar situation also kind of trying to work through that, like if different people are coming to your channel for different reasons. So let me know the reason that you come to my channel and if you'd like to see more like of my life, maybe more day in the lives. Um, and also if there's certain educational topics that you want to learn about, let me know for sure in the comments. Thank you so much for those of you that have stayed till the end. I really appreciate it. And if you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Take care and have a great day.